Why do we recommend DFA Investment Solutions to our clients? Let's take a look. Here we have the mutual fund data from 2004 to 2010. Why those years? Well, because that's when DFA came to Canada. We can see if we look down here, the various different mutual funds, and we can see that the best performing fund over that time period was the Dynamic Fund, and the McKenzie was the worst performing fund. So I have a question for you. If you could pick any of these funds to invest in going forward, which one would you pick? Well, if I was to look at this information, I would see that Dynamic has done really well. So why not go with Dynamic? Well, let's take a look year by year and see how we've got here. Let's pretend it's June 2005. We can pick Dynamic or we can pick McKenzie. Which one would you pick? Well, I'm going to pick Dynamic. So here we are from 2005 to 2010. Yep, Dynamic was the best fund to pick. McKenzie's here at the bottom. DFA, it's not here at the top, but it's near the top. Let's go to 2006. We've got Dynamic, McKenzie. Let's go Dynamic. And again, for that time period, Dynamic was the best performing. McKenzie was down here. DFA, not at the top, but near the top. All right, let's go to June 2007. We've got McKenzie, Dynamic. Let's go Dynamic. Again, Dynamic Fund is at the top. McKenzie's here, DFA, not at the top, but it's near the top. Okay, let's go to the third quarter, 2008. Here we are, we can see McKenzie is down here. Dynamic is up in here. Which one would we go with? Well, we'll probably go with Dynamic. But this is also the time when somebody might come to us and say, Simon, Al, I've been holding this McKenzie stuff for quite a while now. It's not performing well. It's really done bad this last year. And have you seen the rates of return on this dynamic? Let's go with dynamic. Well, what would have happened if we had done that? Here we are. We can see from 2008 to today, the best performing fund has been the McKenzie Fund. And dynamic is down here. DFA is not at the top, but it's near the top. And again, if we look at 2009, we can see, yep, McKenzie's up here. Dynamic is down here. And DFA, not at the top, but near the top. And let's take a look at the performance over that time period. So if we had switched in 2008, we can see that the D Dynamic Fund then went on to lose 6% every year, and the McKenzie Fund went on to make 6% every year. So one was up 10, or well, sorry, one was up 12, the other was down 11. Let's go back to the very first graph that we looked at when I asked the question, if you could pick any one of these to invest in, which one would you invest in? And which one would you invest in now? Well, our recommendation is, is to go with the DFA or dimensional funds. We believe that dimensional funds will do well through all different market cycles and will continue to perform well. Maybe not the top performing fund, but near the top. The other thing, because it's, we expect it to be a top performing fund, it's going to remove that temptation to sell one fund and purchase last year's best performing fund. So there you have it. Those are two good reasons why we recommend the DFA portfolio solutions. One, because we believe it's going to continue to be a top performing fund. And two, it removes the temptation to purchase last year's best performing fund just at the wrong time.